The Three Little Pigs Once upon a time, there were three little pigs who lived with their mother. One day, it was time for the little pigs to leave home and build their own houses. So they said goodbye to mommy pig and set off down the road. They walked and walked and the three little pigs met a farmer who was collecting straw. I had an idea, exclaimed the largest pig, who had very little patience. I will build my house with straw. And after asking the farmer some, he waved goodbye to the brothers and went to work. The first pig built his house of straw and as soon as it was finished, the big bad wolf knocked on the door. Little pig, little pig, let me in, he said. No, said the little pig, not by the hair of my chinny chin chin. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, said the wolf. And that's just what he did. The little pig's ready weedy straw house just fell to pieces. Luckily, the little pig escaped and ran to his brother's house. In the meantime, the other pigs had met a woodcutter. I've decided, said the second pig, more foresighted than the first, but lazier than the third. I'll build my house with sticks. He asked the lumberjack for some and went to work, greeted the younger brother, who continued his journey. The second pig has recently finished building his little house when he saw the older brother run at breakneck speed towards him, trembling with fear. Soon along came the big bad wolf. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in, he shouted. No! said the little pigs, not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins. All right then, then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in, roared the wolf. And that's just what he did. He huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed, and that rickety-clickety house of sticks just tumbled to the ground. Luckily, the clever pigs had run out of the back door. They ran all the way down the road to the little brother's house. He had built his house of bricks. The little pig, he had just finished building his little house with a lot of work and a lot of patience when he heard familiar screams.
it was his brothers who, frightened, ran towards him. Let us in! The two begged him, swooping into his house. Before long, the big bad wolf came along. Little pigs, little pigs, let me come in! He bellowed. No! cried the little pigs. Not by the hairs of our chinny chin chins! Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house in! thundered the wolf. So he huffed and he puffed and he puffed and he huffed. But no matter how he huffed and how he puffed, he could not budge that strong and sturdy house of bricks. I'll get those pigs, said the wolf. I'll climb down the chimney. The little pig, however, smarter even than the wolf, had already understood his intentions and said to the brothers, help me put this pot full of water on the fire, so we will play a nice little trick on that big bad wolf. The wolf zipped down the chimney and landed bottom first in the boiling water. Hi, hi, hi! He cried. He ran out of the door and down to the river to bath his burnt bottom. He never ever came back. The three little pigs lived happily ever after, safe and sound in their sturdy house of bricks. The end. I hope you guys enjoyed the story. For more read along stories, don't forget to subscribe. If you enjoyed the book, give it a big thumbs up and share with a friend. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!